Breaking news. The government have just abolished all the laws governing who can tell their story and about what. We really have no excuse now. Hello, I am Hilary Solzman and welcome to The Everyday Storyteller, a show for women with something to say. So one of the questions I get asked a lot is, am I allowed to tell my story? Okay, so there are obviously no laws in place around who can tell their story. Well, not in a business sense anyway. There are obviously restrictions around plagiarism, defamatory content, hate speak, etc. But we're talking about your personal and business story here. Yet there does seem to be something unwritten which dictates in your mind whether or not you can tell your story. Often this is fear and that's totally understandable. Sharing the personal side of you, maybe even some of your vulnerabilities, doesn't come naturally to everyone. It can be really scary, especially if you've got no idea how others will react. Will they judge you? Will they laugh at you? I remember the first time I shared a post talking to camera about how I shared an office with my partner Tim and I showed my followers around. I had a message almost immediately from an ex-client in the corporate world where I'd recently left asking in a somewhat mocking tone if I was trying to be an Instagram influencer. Not gonna lie, this knocked my confidence and it really was a while until I shared something not business related again. Oddly now, several years later, it's my personal story content that often gets the most engagement. Why? Because it's relatable and my new audience you wonderful people, value that insight because it helps you connect to who I am and what I stand for. Another reason we question telling our story, and one that is a bit harder to shift, is because society or maybe key people involved in your upbringing or in your early career have led you to believe there's not a space for you to tell your story. That women shouldn't do that shouldn't show off about their successes, shouldn't put themselves out there. If and when the trolls attack, it becomes our fault. Well, if you will share personal stuff online, what do you expect? Uh, respect maybe. I've struggled with my mental health in the past and from time to time I talk about it publicly. The first time I did, my concerned mum contacted me. Don't you worry about what people will think of you? Do they really need to hear that stuff? Uh. Yes, mum, if they're going through similar and read a story which makes them feel less alone and maybe even gives them hope, I think it's pretty blooming important. So today, I want to leave one thought with you. When we tell our personal stories, they're never really about us. They're about our audience and how they relate to them, what they take from those stories, how those stories make them feel. Knowing that was a really big shift for me in my thinking. And it's the thing that always makes me press send on a story if I'm starting to doubt whether it's right to tell. Hopefully it will help you too. Thanks for listening.